Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Civilization 5 uh, as uh, Hector of Ostia and we are currently fighting against Lynn uh, on the Sakaean Plains and we are invading Taraz right now. I am considering taking the city but I have to get rid of this trebuchet first or else Lynn will simply take the city back and kill the general stationed inside and I don't want to lose any more generals. Speaking of which, I'm going to move this guy back to get healed up, but I also have a trebuchet of my own, and he can fire from this hill right here to get a hill advantage, which is nice. But yeah, I have to actually take out the units, I can't just uh, take down the city, and this, I think this Longswordsman is an upgraded version of Lin's Myrmidon, because it's a really tough one. But we have our great general right here, and boy 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 is it helping out a lot, as you can see. But, and of course, Lin's ranged attacks aren't doing much to the generals due to their cover promotions, so that is lovely to see. But yeah, we are just uh, gonna keep exploring, getting rid of some grayscale right here. And hey, Ephraim, the leader of Dane has told me that you've become friends with them. What a pleasant little alliance! <laughs> yeah, everyone loves me. And of course, gr except what? Grima's friendly? That must be faking friendship. I don't think Grima is capable of being friendly, but oh wow. Yeah, people, people like me. So that's good. Alright, we still have an unmet player, though. I wonder who that could be. I actually do not know at this point. Oh, wait. Warheart. I actually got some iron to spare, but he doesn't want it. I don't need eight iron. I think I have about enough generals right now. Um, so, yeah, the trebuchet is fleeing, which means that I can take down Taras. And from Taras, I do wonder if I should keep it or not. I am tempted to keep it. It's not a bad city. It has wine. And it's relatively open. I kind of would have wished for it to be settled like here instead, but I guess I'll take this. I only have three cities right now, so I can probably manage another one. There we go. I think I'm just going, yeah, I'm going to create a puppet right away. And then we're going to be healing up our soldiers before we push further into Sakai. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's the Dawn Brigade, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's the Dawn Brigade. Uh, and she actually wants to end the war already, so that's good. Uh, that means the war is going well. Ah, speaking of which, look at this. Fucking, uh, crossbowmen pillaging my shit. Oh, that's, that's my academy. That's not good. Anyway, we got a tre trebuchet right here. Should probably, do we want to give it cover or do we want to, I think I actually want to give it volley. Because I like, like it when my trebuchet do bonus damage against cities. Now, we've actually reached Luis's territory right here. And I'm wondering if maybe we should ask for open borders. I know Luis is very culture-oriented, so it's usually not a good idea to do this, but I want to, you know, explore her base, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, I think we can do with another general. We should probably build many of them while we still can, because they are pretty good. And, uh, ooh, she wants... she wants <laughs> What a pre-steal. She's like, hey, do you want to give me Taras back? Nah. I don't think so, Lynn. I don't think so at all. Also, I just noticed we got uh, we got more trade routes available, but I do believe we are also building... Yeah, we're building a cargo ship in Laos, so I, I do believe once we get that going, uh, it will go a lot better for us. There we go. We gotta go repair that academy, though. This is really important. Now, should we get an open border deal with uh, Mikaya as well? I mean, might want to get it now while it's still uh, easy to do so. But yeah, I think the Manikati Shrine is what we'll go for next. Uh, we just gotta heal up all of our generals first. They are in the process of getting healed up. Also, we should upgrade all of our composite bowmen to crossbowmen. Now, we should probably also, since we have some workers available, we should probably start on building a road over to Taras. Uh, Taras is already connected with the Manikati Shrine, so from here on out, as long as we don't pillage any roads, we won't really have need to uh, do anything there. But of course, Taras is in resistance for three more turns, so it can't really do much. Now, I think Lin still has quite a few soldiers. Uh, I share your conviction that Sake only causes problems. Okay, so Sander agrees that Lin is bad. Makes sense, he's like right north of her. If we can make him declare war on Lin, that'd be great. Anyway, look at this. 17 gold per turn with Illistal right here. That is a good trade route. That is a good trade route. Lovely. Okay, this general is ready for action again. Now, I'm probably going to keep this general inside Castle Lusty, I think, just to uh, benefit from the uh, uh, Tower of Volney. Anyway, Etoria is right here. Is that even a city? Wow, I, I, I imagine finding city names for these civilizations must be tricky, because the World of Fire Emblem isn't super advanced, and that there aren't that many cities in most of the universes, so I'm guessing you, you're gonna have to like make up some names and stuff like that. I mean, can you really name, aside from like Aquilia, which is the capital of Etruria, can you really mention like 
five Etrurian cities. I don't think there are five Etrurian cities in the story. Like, there are small, small outposts and shit like that. Alright, anyway, here is uh, Aaron. Oh, look, Mina. Aaron is here. Laura is right here. It is cute. I I, I wish that uh, Alm Civilizations also gave the villagers names. It's, al it's always really cute when they do that, I think. Alright. So, uh, we got a Dane Scout right here that I'm a little bit worried about that because I think it's uh, Lin's, but then Lin is a completely different color, so there's no excuse for that, really. Uh, also, I feel like this city is not growing very fast, but it doesn't really need to grow fast, I guess. Anyway, let's send this guy up. Help build a road, I suppose. Wow, Luisa's Gatling guns. She's pretty advanced. And looks like uh, Mikaya's also building a lot of units. She has a shit ton of Dawn Brigade units. Huh. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna keep this general inside uh, Castle Ostia to, just to level it up. We do want to take full advantage of the Tower of Volney while we can. Also, I don't know how this guy moved into Lin's territory. That's a bit unexpected. Actually, you know what? It's completely fine. However, I will probably want to... Yeah, I can siege the Manikati Shrine from here, and I can siege it from this hill right here. Yeah, let's just move in. Um, start shooting on the, on the Longswordsmen. There's no need to wait. Let's just keep pushing forward. Uh, this is... I, I always love attacking uh, targets that are out into the open. It's so much easier. Uh, that's the problem with living on the so-called plains, is that it's really easy to take your civilization down. Okay, so Ostia has a lot of infrastructure that needs doing right now. I think we shall actually probably go with the shrine, because getting some faith up and buying those buildings would be nice. Then we probably want an aqueduct, a coliseum, and a university. There's a lot of cities that we, that, or a lot of buildings that we want to build right now. The same goes for Arafan. I think we should probably go for a university here. And in Laos, once we're done with the cargo ship, we can do the same thing. Actually, you know what? We should get those, uh, we should get those castles, Austin castles up. I definitely think we should get those Austin castles up because it's tree happiness. It's like, it, they're better than Colosseums at this point, and Colosseums are really good. So, okay. Hey! Oh! Hi, Pants! Ah, good day to you. I am Pant, the Marcus of Regle. Though, though more, though more know me as the gen <laughs> made general of this country. Would you care to stay for a little while? So, um, Pant is of course also an Etrurian civilization. But what is funny about Pant, and I'll show you guys right now, uh, is that he's actually different to Luis. He has different units and different buildings. Um, his civilization bonus, uh, is called Arcane General. Upon entering a war with a major civilization, a great general is earned. Acad Academies yield bonus culture, which is really good. His uh, unique unit is called a Sage, and the Sage uh, gets more bon benefits from great generals and deals bonus damage to fortified units. 50% bonus against fortified units. That's pretty fucking good. And he also has the... Yeah, he has the same building as Luis, though. So Penton Luis is in this game. I, th I feel like there's a leader I forgot to add. Okay, so I... The leader that I haven't seen yet is Gangrel, and this could be one or two reasons why. One, I forgot to add him, because there's like 17 leaders in this game. But what could also be the case, he could have been killed. Uh, he could have been wiped out in the early game. That can happen. Anyway, let's just... Yeah, Mikaya wants to open up her borders. That's good, so let's explore. So yeah, that is actually something that could have been the case. Um... I mean, Gangrel got eliminated really quickly last time, so it's not unthinkable that this could have happened. But it's a little weird. But yeah, Pence in this game would be hilarious. Is he close to Luis? Berkut is right here in Castle Regal. And here's F Erica's down here in Castle Rene. Ephraim's down here. Alm is here. Fair. Did we even get a capital with Pent? I don't think we did. Let's uh, let's set up a capital in his uh, castle and see where he is. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this seems good. Where is he? Where is he? He's all the way down here. House Regle. Wow. Leon is actually the leader. Berkut is number two. Robin is number three. Mikai is number four. Then Pent, Erica, Lynn, Wallace, 
Elin Shadow, Massander, Luis, and me. I am the fifth worst lord right now. Anyway, so the uh, Congress just uh, opened up, and of course, we always propose World's Fair to get a massive boost with every single civilization. Classic strategies right here. Some things are just too good not to do. All right, and it's time. Okay, this these are the self-healing crossbowmen, so that's good. They can keep taking fire. And we can siege from here, and we can siege from here. And I'm pretty sure that the Manikati Shrine will fall pretty darn quickly. Unless something very drastic happened. Haven't seen many units from Lin, but she had a lot of soldiers, so either she's pulling them all back or she's fighting some other war. But yeah, incoming incoming praise from all the leaders that everyone loves my World's Fair proposal. Even Wal like Walhart should just hate it. I would love it if Walhart was just like fair fairgrounds or carnivals are for idiots. Like he would he should just hate you for proposing something silly like that. Alright, let's start sieging the Manikati Shrine. Uh we should move Oh we can take over this oh wait, what's this? <laughs> oh I'm just like trapped here. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god, that's actually that's I absolutely hilarious. He's like trapped with his villager inside here. Alright, let's get a good surround on the castle. Again, there's no point in attacking it if like, you always want to get rid of trebuchets, because there's no point in attacking the Manikati Shrine if it's just going to get taken back later. You're just going to end up ping-ponging it between your civilizations, and it's going to get weakened and stuff like that. I'm probably going to keep it, I think, because I got... S One of the things is... Ooh, Robin is plotting against us. Okay, we gotta, we gotta be careful about that. Um... Yeah, Walhart is plotting against me now. Okay, but Walhart's far away, so I'm not particularly worried about that. Oh shit, my crossbowman. I don't want to lose my crossbowman. That would be really, really bad. Alright, let's take care of this trebuchet. Oh, I could have probably have killed that trebuchet. That was kind of sad. Oh well. Yeah, we need to fuck off. I don't wanna I don't wanna die here. There we go. We can probably take it on this turn if we want to, but I'm not sure if I want to. I think I would, I'd like to wait one more turn. Yeah, let's wait one more turn. Also, let's upgrade these pikemen. And we just fix the academies. Let's build a farm over here. Sounds good. Okay. Let's put this great general here and let's have him wait. Uh, anyway, I got some lag, so let me just check this really quickly. Be right back. Yeah, as I thought, whenever my frame rate starts spiking, uh, it's because I'm running out of disk space on my external drive. And since I'm using Fraps to record Civilization because it yields the best results, Fraps files are pretty huge, so I tend to fill up my drive rather quickly. I can only record like five episodes before the, the drive is full, because each file is like 200 gigabytes, it's insane. Anyway, uh, we need to decide on a tech to tech 2. And I think actually probably getting gunpowder wouldn't be the worst idea. Although I also feel like printing press would be good because we might struggle with happiness. And I need to check, what are we interested in? Um, well, like going up to scientific theory or industrialization would be nice. See if we have coal. I think we should probably just rush for industrialization so we can get autocracy before anyone else. Because if we can get those three factories up immediately, uh, that would be very, very helpful, I think. Because we definitely want autocracy as Hector, if we want to have any chance of winning this game. Alright, so... Alm wants to buy our dice. Um, I think we could probably ask for like 200 gold and 3 gold per turn. 2 gold per turn? 1 gold per turn? There we go. That's a good deal, I think. Total 2... I could have asked for 10 gold more, actually. Because the, the, the net total of the sum can be 240 gold, that's what a luxury resource is worth, and I just got 230. It's a slightly bad deal on my part, but you know what? It's fine. Anyway, uh, it's time to... Oh, Marth has completed the Sistine shot. Yeah, Marth is a big culture spammer. He fucking loves his culture. Anyway, time to take the Monikati Shrine. Let's just create a puppet. We're a little bit unhappy right now, but not as unhappy as... Uh... Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is Castle... Wow, really? Castle Krakenberg is here? Isn't that the... Oh, no, Windmire is the uh, capital. Wow, Sander is actually really close. He's really close. Closer than I thought he was. I'm surprised he hasn't attacked Lin yet. Maybe he intends to? Wouldn't surprise me. Lin is not putting up a good fight at all. I really thought she would be a lot stronger than this. Alright, let's keep moving. 
And we should probably go and... Nah, we don't need to repair this right away. Taros is doing fine on his own right now. And I'm just going to put these pikemen up here because I feel like this tile is always going to get targeted for pillaging. And I actually kind of want to go down and see see what's down here. Is this like another continent? Is there no way to pass here? Hmm. I guess we can see what's over here. It's a fucking big map, but then again, it's it's a big map because it's Fire Emblem 4, so it's only logical, really. Hey, all wants to buy our horses. I am fine with this. Not like I need them for anything. You know what? I think we should probably... No, I'm going to say yes. Oh, wait. What? Really? Oh, fuck. Warmongering penalties are kicking in. Declaration of friendship with Luis. Yes! I'm happy. So people aren't really starting to bitch at me yet, but if I continue to take uh, if I continue to take cities, I'm going to start to attract some attention. Anyway, caravan. Let's see. What can I get? We can get 9 gold per turn with Hoshido. It's a good deal. And we are starting to explore a majority of this map now, so that's good. We also captured a worker, so we can go and repair this cotton. That's nice. And let's shoot down these guys. Boom. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Should we heal up before we proceed? I think that probably would be a good idea. Also, I feel really sorry for Alm's worker right here. Poor guy. He's just stuck in enemy territory, you know? Alright. So, let's heal up. Heal, heal, heal. It's only gonna take us a couple turns to fully heal up before we can continue. I wonder if Sanders gonna get suspicious right now. My beloved Rene and I agree that your proposal for the first Congress of Castle Rene was marvelous. I see that you have an eye for diplomacy, noble sir. Wow, I got praised by Barcoot. Good times, good times. I'll just take some gold for this one. I think, can I get, was it 10 or 5? I could ask for now, it's 5. There we go. Ooh, research agreement with Luis. Yes, I would not mind that at all. I've actually forgotten who we're spying on. Um, let's check. We are spying on Farah. Okay, we're spying on Roy. That's not so bad. Alright, five. Oh, that's not a good trade route at all, actually. Five gold. Eh, it's, I'll take it, I guess. I mean, one of the good things about trading in this little pond is that there, there's basically going to be no barbarians here. So, at least there's that. We don't need to worry about our trade routes getting pillaged by barbarians. So, should we go for Burglar or should we take Juta? I mean, Lorca is also a decent... Wow, so many trading posts. What is it with the AI and its trading post spam? I will never know why the AI is so coded to get gold, but I don't know why. It's just, it's just hardwired into its behavior. But I think I want to take Juta as well. I'm not sure if I should race it or not. I do need to think about how many cities I can feasibly maintain before my happiness just goes to hell. But Burglar is pretty... I mean, I guess if I take Burglar, I can leave Juta and Lorca alone. Um, I think that would probably work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start. This guy needs to heal up, though. But my crossbowman can start moving down. I do need to be careful, though, because I don't... If I don't ooh, look here. Barbarian encampment. If I'm not careful, then I will also take damage from Juta, so we don't want to get bombarded by two cities at once. That would be really bad, so let's not do that. So let's place our units carefully. But yeah, I think we'll take Burglar, and then we're, we can probably leave Lin alone, I think. Uh, <laughs> nice! Luis does not like Sakai. Okay, great. Awesome. Perfect. If only there was a way to turn off open border spam. Like, never ask me for open borders again, man. That would make me such a happy manx. Alright, we can take down... We can't start sieging Burglar just yet, but we can move in at the very least. And then we can start shooting on them. Alms Worker is actually sort of in the way here. It's a little bit annoying. It's a little bit annoying. Alright, let's finish up the road, and let's go repair all the, uh, all the shit that we've cost. Should probably leave someone in the Marikari Shrine, I think. Is they, are these Linz units? Yeah, they are, actually. Let's move back. We don't want to lose any generals, unless we have to. I feel like Linz units are elsewhere. I see, like, a lot of her units moving about, but very few of them are actually attacking me. Uh, Berkut wants some cotton. He still wants... Yeah, it goes to goes to show that Berkut does not really give a shit about warmongering panel. Ho, 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 ho. Oh my god, Lin wants to offer me the peace, treat of a, <laughs> peace deal of a century, but not until I take her capital. 
Rene is nothing but a stepping stone in my path to greatness. Soon they shall be reduced to nothing but rubble, and you will follow suit. Walmart talking the big talk, walking the big dull walk. All right, we got yet another great general here. Awesome. We can build citadels if we want to, but I don't really feel the need to do that right now because this war against Lin is going pretty well, so. Okay, let's send these crossbowmen down. Let's get rid of this barbarian encampment. Boom, baby. And we can probably move our, uh, we can move our trebuchets in for the kill as well. There we go. Let's set these set these bad boys up to fire. We can start raining death down on Bulgar. Man, we are literally Cephiel right now. We're just plowing through Sakai. I don't really need all these generals down here, but I don't know. I always felt like it 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 gives some more intimidating presence when you got a lot of great generals here, even though they're completely unnecessary. Okay, should we go for a? I think we need um. I think we need to focus on happiness right now, actually. Our happiness is really going to plummet if we don't do anything about it. Ah, oh, look at this cute little uh, cute little corner right here. This is this would be like the perfect defensible castle. If you build a castle in the middle here, impossible to attack. Like, you just fortify units around this border right here. Well, I guess you could also attack from here. But yeah, that's a cute little, cute little valley right here. I like this, like this location a lot. Looks like Leon's expanding pretty aggressively towards me, though he may start pissing off Robin as well if he keeps doing that. Difficult to say, really. Anyway, uh, this general has started to level up. Lovely. Man, this is a, this is a coastal little corny. Oh, barbarians. No, thank you. I'm just passing through. Don't shoot the messenger. Uh, it looks like Lynn is sending some knights, finally. To reinforce her capital. Oh wait, I can't shoot from here. I'm an idiot. I need to go down here if I want to shoot. Oh well. Let's see. We need. We do need to respond to this though, so we're probably gonna start attacking. We can also pillage the mine if we want to. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna keep this general in the city. There's no point in moving in every single general that I have. It's just pointless, really. Okay, so let's send these guys down to respond. We do need like some anti-flank forces. And again, the city is on I'm pretty sure the city is on gold focus. Yeah, it's on gold focus. The cities are always on gold focus for whatever fucking reason, even though it's a terrible idea. I mean I'm It's not that a gold focused city is bad, it's just that by making it big, you can then build banks and shit and get money through that. So I I don't know. I never really saw the saw the point behind gold based empires. Sandris, but the many I must conquer to eliminate all borders and ensure a lasting peace. He wants to declare war on uh, Sander. Hmm. Where is he anyway? I mean, Sander's here. Yeah, he's slightly like, right north of Sander, so it makes sense that he'd go for Sander next. All right, knight goes down. Let's start sieging Bulgar. Ba -ba 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 Looks like, does Lynn even have a navy? I'm not sure if she does. She seems to have some ships at the very least. Mm. Da, da, da. Okay, no improvements to be made in Castle Ostia at this time. We do need to grow this city a little bit though, if we want to ever get, yeah. Let's let's grow Castle Ostia a little bit, but I think we can, we can keep these two cities on production focus, but let's at the very least grow Castle Ostia, because we do need, do need to do that. All right, Grotto keep nine gold per turn. Our economy is looking pretty strong right about now. We should probably send some of these workers down though to uh, repair. All right, where to send this guy? Is there? I think there's possibility. I think I can probably move down here and go south to explore. I think this must be like southern Tracia. All right, I'll take the research agreement, Erica. Got to got to catch up on tech somehow. I actually haven't checked how I'm doing on on, on science. So let's open up the demographics and have a look. Uh, what's this? Walhart does clear. Oh, nice! Walhart does clear war on Lynn. Oh, poor Lynn. She's getting picked off. All right, so we're currently number seventeen, but we're only about ten percent behind the leader, which isn't bad at all. And there we go. We just stole gunpowder. Gunpowder, I mean. And I think that was probably one of the last techs we could steal. So I think we should probably change. Let's steal on. Uh, let's spy on Luis. Yeah. 
Let's spy on Luis. I don't mind spying on Luis. Yeah, Bulgar's gonna take some fire though. Probably one more day until we can uh, until we can take it down. Cause it has some pretty good defenses here. There we go. But I don't think I, I don't I do not think I want to take all of Lin's cities. That's just gonna give me unnecessary warm warm going penalties that I don't need. All right, Austin keep eleven turns. Sounds good. We really need this happiness right about now. And F, uh, Lord Pent is friends with Rene. Good to know, good to know. Haven't really seen what's going on up here. Ryoma doesn't seem like he's doing too hot. He's kind of like boxed into a corner right here. He just... Oh my god. Ryoma settle next to Sander. Ryoma settle next to... S Ryoma versus Sander war incoming, guys. Pent has declared war on Lin. Oh man, Lin is getting declared war on by everyone here. This is not good. I bet Sanders next. Yeah, it looks like Lynn has some. Uh, no, this is this is uh, Renee. This is Ephraim or Erica. One of the two. I can't really see the difference because I'm colorblind. Hmm. All right. Anyway, let's time. It's time to take Lynn's capital. Then the next day we are going to sign a peace deal with her. Again, let's create a puppet because we don't really have the happiness to do anything else right now. And then I think we can probably send these guys back to our... Ooh, what's going on here? Ooh, a great profit. Interesting. Yeah, I don't want to fight with these guys. I prefer I prefer not to. Alright, let's start to send the generals back and get them rested up for the next war. I don't know who I'm going to be attacking next. Um, might be Sander, actually. I think Sander might be the next guy. He's doing pretty alright. He is just a little bit behind the Ryoma. Yeah, I think Sander would be a logical target next. Either Sander or Alm. I got enemies all around me, so I gotta pick carefully who I want to go for. Anyway, I think it's time for Castle Ostia to get its own Ostian Keep. Again, happiness is going to be a massive issue moving forward. There we go. Sander is a threat to the stability of this world. Oh my god, Luis. I might have taken you up on that, but I want to... Everyone, okay, so Sander has a lot of enemies. That's really good. That makes him a na Oh my god, I could... Denunciation from Robin. You know what? Oh my god, I should... Every... Whoa! Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh shit. Everyone wants to declare war on Sander, but Ryoma wants to declare war on me. Okay, that came out of nowhere. All right, so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta send our units up to deal with this shit. So let's send the generals up to the choke point. All right, you know what? Maybe, maybe we'll go fight Ryoma next time. I mean, if he's gonna be like that, I might. I don't have any issues bringing the fight to him. We can actually, you know what? Let's start working on a road up here, so we can start transporting our units up. We should also get cannons going, I think. I think Sander did... S oh, wow. Sander fucked up some of our trade routes, I think. What the hell? One out of five trade routes? Are you fucked? Oh, Robin! I was trading with Robin. Now I lost all those trade routes. That's not great. Okay, well, that certainly spices up things, to say the least. Um, I expected a bit more peace, but... Um that certainly happened. Okay, how can we get more happiness? Um, Sue, most likely, I think. I'm not sure how how committed uh, Ryoma will be to this uh, attack. I think I'm going to say yes to this. But yeah, now we need to start trading with Leon. We definitely need to get our trade routes up and running and, and quick. Actually, that research agreement was dumb. I needed that gold. I really needed that gold. Oh well, let's uh, go and let's send our workers down here to repair, heal up our scouts, and we can get another policy. So do we want to get military cast or do we want to get professional army? I feel like military tradition is a bit redundant right now, so let's go with military cast because that's going to help our happiness out. Besides, uh, getting, getting cheaper upgrades would be really sweet right about now, I'm not going to lie. But it doesn't seem like Video is really attacking me. Your little friend Nora is nothing but a disgusting worm. Everyone wants to kill Sander, uh, but I'm not sure if I can do that right now. 
Also, an enemy caravel attacked my. Oh no. Oh no. Everyone get down here ASAP because we need help. We need help. My. Oh ho ho! Robin, no. Oh my god. That's really bad. We need to get our great general down here ASAP. Fuck, I should have had my Austin keep by now. This is really bad. I might lose my entire city. Yeah, this is this is fucking awful right here. This is not good at all. There's no way I can defend against this at all. Okay, let's see how Lost does. Okay, here comes the Dross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone fucking hates me now. <laughs> ah. I have a serious matter to discuss. My relationship with Nora is broken down. I need you to denounce them as your sole support. Fine! I'll denounce Sander. I'm fine with this. Everyone else hates him, so this is a good deal for me. Okay, so Laos is under heavy siege right now, uh, and uh, it might fall if I'm not careful. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, wow, this game really took an interesting twist really quickly. Uh, I will I will continue the next part, so do, do tune in next time and give this episode a like and a comment. It helps out the channel a lot. Will we be able to defend Laos, or will Robin take us down, and how will this conflict with Sander go, and can we maybe trick Sander into attacking Ryoma? That'd be cool, too. Uh, but yeah, shit's going down, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangs, and I shall see you guys next time. Okay, bye.